All right, man. It seems like the Minnesota Vikings could be dealing Stefan Diggs pretty soon. He took all his Viking stuff off of social media. It was a big thing on Twitter or late last night and early this morning. So, you know, should Detroit Lions think about trading for Stefan Diggs? Let's talk about it. Be back. Motor City Sports Talk in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Much love to everybody that's sharing the video. It's the best way to donate and support the channel. And, yeah, I kind of wouldn't, wouldn't be mad if they did. If they trade some more people around, they get some more draft capital. Stefan Diggs is, you know, tied up with the Minnesota Vikings for the next three years. Um, right just under, I think most of his contract uh, annually is just under $12 million, like 11.5. So he's not breaking the bank. He provided a good route runner, a good deep threat. And I don't think he had a quarterback like Matthew Stafford or it could be Tua Joe Burrows or Justin Herbert. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say that jokingly, but quite seriously. He hasn't had a quarterback that really can give him the ball. And Stafford, um, you know, it really helped Golden Tate, you know, out. You know, Golden Tate was was pretty good in Seattle. He caught some deep balls, but the opportunities that you have in the Detroit offense where Stafford can possibly slang it 50 times a game, I think Diggs will be happy in Detroit because he's going to be getting a lot of a lot of balls. But, you know, what move, what brings Stephon Diggs in, um, you may have to trade Marvin Jones. Uh, Diggs can play the slot. Um, Galladay can play the slot. So you can keep them together for, for a year. But I think Marvin Jones is probably going to want to, you know, cash in at one more time in the NFL. But you can bring Diggs in and still have Jones and Galladay and Marvin Hall. He can provide a deep threat. But I still think they need more speed out there. I think Diggs kind of check a box on some good speed. But I didn't need a burner either coming out the backfield or Marvin Hall filling that void, uh, kind of being a Sammy Watkins and Hardman, Robinson type of guy to get down the field. But, um, yeah, I, I definitely would go for it. But the problem is, with a Minnesota Vikings trade, Stefan Diggs within the division. That's the question. Even if the Lions have the best offer on the table, do you really want to trade them in NFC North? You got to see them twice. But then again, it's the Lions. The Lions haven't won NFC North. I'm pretty sure Minnesota's won it multiple times since being in the North and probably won it when it was the Central as well, too. So I don't think they would kind of really fear the Lions having uh, Stefan Diggs and doing this, doing this thing in Detroit. But it's definitely something that I would, uh, I would check in with, with Bob Quinn, especially knowing if I'm tra- trading Darius Slay. There's some talks about a few teams getting in on Slay. So, yeah, I definitely do my due diligence. His contract is right. He's not making $20 million a year like Michael Thomas is. He tied up for the next three years. It's a situation where he'll be happy if Stafford throwing the ball the next couple years to him. He's probably going to have a career year here like Golden Tate did. He didn't have to worry about Dalvin Cook run, running the ball 20 times, catching it 10 times, and he only getting two or three targets in Detroit. He going to get... He's going to get about seven, eight, ten targets a game being here, especially if they're able to move on from Marvin Jones. Or with Marvin Jones, he's going to see a ton of targets here. I think um, him and Galladay would be a great fit, and they can develop Marvin Hall, uh, his ability to get down the field, I believe. Um, I believe this could be special. So, yes, your boy C.J. would go out there and get Stephon Diggs, even if I had to overcompensate the Minnesota Vikings uh, to trade him in a division. But we'll see what Bob Quinn thinks. I think Diggs is a top 10 receiver. Um, I do like him better than Amari Cooper because he shows up in big moments, cold, indoors, outdoors, playoffs, not playoffs, and it's a good fit for his morale. He one of those dudes that want to make an impact. In Detroit, he's going to have he gonna make an impact like Golden Tate did. Golden Tate always been a good receiver. I mean, I watching him in Notre Dame, I thought he was better than Michael Floyd, and some people thought I was crazy, but I seen the ability. And when he got the opportunity – to come to a pass happy offense in Detroit, he showed. And I think you give Stephon Diggs that same opportunity, you may see a number one receiver. And also, you got Antonio Brown out there. I don't know if you want to mix him in in the Detroit culture. You might find him in a trash can like Brenda's baby. Um, but if you can get his mind right, something you you could think about because it wouldn't cost you nothing. But I would rather trade a pick or trade some assets to get Stephon Diggs before I trust Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown got the third most TD receptions uh, since 2017 or the fourth or fifth, uh, even though he missed almost the entire 2019 season. So something to think about, but I love Diggs. Diggs is a great fit in Detroit. Him and Stafford be a great connection with Galladay and Hawkinson. Let me know what you guys think, but I would overcompensate the Vikings just to trade them in a division. But Hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, reach out to the email. If you have a business question, card response, video requests, keep sharing the videos. Let me know what you guys think. And I see realistic Randy, the Vikings guy that talk uh, football, he don't want them to trade him. But, hey, go ahead and trade him our way, man. Uh, but 